Just talk us through what indeed this is going to be. It's all about the watch, right? All about the watch, all about healthcare, all about glucose tracking. Really the holy grail for a smartwatch to be able to tell you all of your health metrics. And one of the most important health metrics, as we all know, is blood sugar or blood glucose monitoring. You want to know how much glucose is in your body because that's an indicator of prediabetes or type 2 diabetes or other health conditions. And today, getting that data requires the prick of a skin, right, or a blood draw from your veins. What Apple wants to do is it wants to create a system using chips, sensors, software algorithms built into the Apple Watch to get a read on how much glucose you have in your blood without needing a blood sample. Okay, everyone that views this show wants to understand the innovation, the actual technology behind this. What is new? How is this different from what's already on the market? Well, two terms I'll give you. One, optical spectroscopy, right? <laughs> and the other, silicon photonics. Those are some pretty hardcore types of technologies that Apple is working on to make this happen, right? This means that the technology will use a chip that can output light or lasers, right, into your skin and read how much glucose is in your what's known as interstitial fluid. That's the fluid that comes out of your blood capillaries, and everyone has that fluid across their body. And it could use lasers, it shoots through your skin, and then it has sensors that could read, right, the concentration of light in your skin to know how much glucose is there in order to get that reading. Our innovation hit right there for us, Mark. Interesting, JP Morgan saying for now this isn't a threat to device makers. But what about the people behind this, Mark? Who's building it? Yeah, it's definitely not a threat to device makers right now because this is not going to hit the market probably for another three to five years. So I would agree with JP Morgan that if something is not hitting for three years, it's not going to uh, have an impact. And also after it arrives, right, there is such big market share already from Abbott and Dexcom and other providers. And it's going to take time for Apple to penetrate that market and get the regulation they're looking for. So, you know, I would agree, at least in the short term. In terms of who's behind this, Apple has a secret moonshots team called the Exploratory design group and this is the team developing this moonshot along with other projects as well as apple's health team and hardware engineering and software engineering teams